Hello in the very next update for Pavel Bialo podcast. Interesting enough, still no no concrete uh, title, but inside out seems to be reasonable. And today is special one, like another one, like every single day is a special one because every day is unique. It's not like you can expect what's gonna happen the very next day. Today I expected that I would go out to, to park and for example record that, but it's rainy so I needed to spend some time at home and take a different approach, which made me like hold on a second, let's go sleep and my mind was looking for an excuse not to do so. I even eat a, eat a supper and uh, start cleaning dishes and and wanted to go to take a nap. Um, and then watch some movie, and then might be record, and then there will be another day, and I won't. So, mine like to play, play tricks. And what I wanted to to tackle today was uh, was a trick. Our mind tends to tends to play on us whenever our brain tend, tends to play on us whenever we want to make a change. Have you ever tried to? Uh, start different planning, change the schedule, make a major difference, make a major change in your life, and what's happened? Uh, some, some unexpected situation, some person said you something that made you upset, or something happened to you, to, to people you care about, or maybe simply mm, something pop up in your, in your schedule, your customer called or whatever and then you say oh it's not gonna work out oh we are going into that mode of justifying ourselves why oh we wanted to change something or we're supposed to be this way and word is against us and or moaning and worrying about about that not even worrying me, we justifying for our e- our ego justify to feel guilt. Today I had a day off, so I had all the excuses not to record a video, not to record a podcast, not to record an audio. But I wanted to do that because mind was interesting. Um, it was interesting today. Went to library and did uh, another two chapters aka chapters like there's what does, mean, what does it mean a chapter in my book right how many pages define a chapter well i was talking uh, about inside out communication and the model of um the model of how marketing works nowadays which allows me to put that into words better and let me try let me give it a go right now here to <clears throat> bring the very first draft of it maybe i'll be laughing a couple of years later listening to that how i could even think like that but okay that's 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 for you pavel in the future that's for those who are listening to me right now maybe uh, a couple of months, years later on, down the or down the road. So, the concept comes as follows: um, whenever we are building a business, and uh, whenever we are building a business, we tend to uh, go into course, sign up to some course, or buy some buy a bunch of books and Google stuff how to market and how to use different social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whether you should write a book, no, whether you should prepare a good website, what kind of website, value video, funnel, pay that, not. And then, okay, we decide to take at the end of the day one uh, very specific approach and then uh, months pass by and maybe even a year and you, you're still in the, the same place. And then just justifying, oh, it was just a scam, such a stupid decision, or I should put more action. So 
we keep doing over and over the same and maybe even something workouts so, so uh, we take and we take a feedback and, and we see that okay things which work out uh, actually the results were such a low that it was completely worthless <clears throat> but at the end of the day you have a feedback at the end of the day you finding out what didn't work what well, didn't work. So, okay, we invest in another course, obviously, right? We want to expand our knowledge, get better. And, and then, again, nothing happened. What are, there, what are reasons? And reasons are pretty much inside. Because throughout your life, you've been taking decisions and operating in a way which led you to the, way, to the results you got right now. And what's happened? Maybe you're not that satisfied because if you want to make a change, there's probably something you'd like to improve. But improving that outside won't bring you the difference you, you want uh, until you will sort things out inside. And first and foremost, there are, there are differences because you take, um, you make decisions from brain or from heart, from inner self, the, God, the, the quote unquote God feeling gut feeling, right? There are the two types of um, brains, I would say. And what's happened is that we start to, start to operate with brains. So we, we use reasoning and try to operate on messaging sequence and try to post stuff, provide value without even knowing what the value is, what kind of value. Okay, so we don't know, we Google that. What we do, we Google that. And then we are surprised that things doesn't work the way we want. Okay, as long as you just kind of stick to it and don't really think about it. So with numbers, you might get some results. And a lot of people do get results out of finding out the way how to trick people. But the interesting thing is that we, uh, we've been tricked, so we learn how to trick others. We buy our own stuff and how we do that. Simply even some people even copying entire script and just trying to use that. Okay, why? What's wrong with script if it it works? Um, for it works for somebody. It works for for X Y Z. It works for Dan, for Sam Owens, for Grant Cardone. But it doesn't mean that you are them. So you have different approach, different personality types. So to make it yours, it requires some work. It requires some effort. It requires knowing who you are. And what kind of motivations you got, and how, not how, what kind of uh, superpowers, what kind of skills you got, so we can build upon on them. So from uh, finding out inside, you can get the marketing going, because when you go again to, to the program and you see step by step how to how to do a post, when, what, what to do. And then you come to post, to drop a post uh, or send a message and you have, and you don't do that because, because you don't know, it's just not you, you never did that, you don't know how to do that, you know, what if that, what if I'm not good enough, what if person won't agree, what if a person will say this and that. Okay, so we tend to skip that those exercises because exercises are really the really something uh, without which uh, the knowledge, the books, the, the courses are just kind of mental masturbation because you just adding things up and you just get it and you're happy with that and, and uh, no results will come uh, come later on because. You just get uh, the knowledge and nothing else. And then just guilt that uh, you didn't use them to the, to the, to the way you wanted. And uh, why you didn't? Because ego doesn't like change. And it took me years, really years to figure out. Since I started my personal development journey, it was like 2011, 2012. And since I remember that I did particularly one book, which I remember very much, it was like X, 
x uh, the book of the winners or something that's direct translation but it's not available in english x codex wygranych uh, in polish so i'm not sure if it's available in english on that level right now it's just cliche thing like sugar coating well not sugar coating but very very basics which which back then were well back then was a huge milestone so i did those exercises and i found out okay the results are there because i i need to go into the future and see myself in the future and the blockages and use my mind to figure out my own ways of doing stuff and then I've been constantly learning and uh, listening to hundreds of hours of different types of courses, books, readings, and, and workshops, and so on and so forth. And nothing changed. Nothing changed. Weeks, months, years passed by, and nothing changed. So I was figuring out, okay, so if that thing changed them, why it didn't change me? Simply because I didn't put into practice the exercises I've been given. And then, okay, I could get messages sequence and script to selling or script to sales calls or how to do um, messenger or organic uh, or paid ads and uh, got happy about it, got excited about it, but at the end of the day, don't use it. Okay, so then I realize, oh, the problem is not in the content I've been learning. Because I can, like a lot of people, uh, 2019, 18, it was, it is still, I think, beginning early 2020, 2020, is uh, fancy, is popular term of scam. So... People like to just uh, call it scam, whatever doesn't work for them. And funny enough, uh, if you expect results, uh, you will be uh, very disappointed if you expect results just for just because you bought the program, just because you invested your money. It's just giving you another option, another option. It's just an option. But without using that, you will be basically uh, the same. You're staying the same. So that's why sessions with uh, Tommy Walker helped me a lot put into practice the, the tools of inner work. Because I've been doing basically the inner work along coaching sessions with him. I wouldn't say per se coaching session, but in a... In a inner child or well, limiting belief sessions guided meditation my how because I've been doing that practicing right on the get go what if I would practice the exercise from books right at the time of doing them No, I just need to get another book. Like knowing that, like being aware, like tricking myself. Uh, books will solve the issues. And at the end of the day, issues are not there. Issues that are within. And if I'm not going to practice that and experience that, form of experience that. Because once you, you acquire knowledge using brain, experience is something you feel. And you cannot really teach that through books you need to experience that so then from this will become a belief and then that belief will manifest in your reality the problem becomes when you have a ton of knowledge but you don't have experiences because knowledge is just okay sounds good as I said it's a mental masturbation without using it. And you know the tools, you know how to help, and everybody have opinion, everybody can just throw uh, their faults like off the cuff and, and help. 
as long as I got some information going on in their head. Not beneficial, but like they can really help themselves. And then when it comes to recharging and believing in those uh, tools, you can create, you can still create, trick yourself. Mind is good at it. That you know shit about it, but in reality you don't. In reality, you just read about it and just you rehearsing the information you hear somewhere else. You're not coming with anything unique. And here's another t- another thing that being unique. Oh, what what's up? What's being unique? How to be unique when everybody invented everything and there's nothing to be unique about? And it's another bullshit because simply because you are, it's unique because you are. You are is unique. You is unique. How you can find that uniqueness? There's no other person with such experiences, with such story, with such hobbies, passions, and mixture of them like you. It's literally no one. We have billions of people. And there's no one like you. They can be similar. They can have similar story. But people will follow why. Your why. People will see you and especially right now we are heading to to our 2020 and see that people follow stories because stories engage because stories can be relatable so that's why if you try to be somebody and when you create you try to be somebody you aren't you are not so instead of trying to be somebody try to be you or just get rid of try just be you who becoming the best version of yourself. Which is kind of tricky, because if for entire life you thought, thanks to brain, you realize that, okay, that r- rules, that, uh, that make you decision, you, you, you learn to trust those, those uh, thoughts. Without realizing that they might limit you. They might be false. Because they were created based on past, based on the beliefs you got, based on the experiences you got. And if you got kind of a shitty story <clears throat> with a lot of obstacles, with a lot of negativity, guess what? Reality will bring you even more of this. Because that's what that's what is hold in your brain the past or worrying about the past anxiety about the past worrying about the future being anxious about the past thing worrying about the future because based on the past brain is projecting the future which is both false because both doesn't exist it's like Playing a roulette and expecting that you won in the past and you, you won in the future. But in this case, it's like you lost in the future in the past, so you, you're gonna lose in the in the future. You're gonna lose in the future, which is bullshit again, because you don't know. You are not there. You are now. And learning to trust your God is going to come from experience. You cannot really use words to make person believe in that. You can use experience. You can nudge them to experience the gut feeling, the reality as it is. That is not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. Because it's required facing, facing the reality as it is. So if, you, if you've been lazy for 30 years or you've been just um, drinking, playing games or just wasting your time for, for 30 years, or 30, 40, 50 years sometimes, or even more, and you get to realize that you basically wasted all the time, that will be hard. That would be hard. 
What do you think? That 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 scares the shit out of many of people, and that's why people doesn't do that because it's scary. Because like, uh, how could I be wrong for that many years? So we like to follow ourselves and just follow what we believe is true, without realizing that it's just a belief. It just our map, which is not the territory. It's just a map of the. Uh, it's just a map. It's not the territory. It's not the terrain. It's the map. It's our own filters throughout which we see reality. Simple example. Whenever you talk to someone, just observe one object and ask and say what you think, what you see, ask the person to ask to tell what they see, and you will be blown away that they see uh, sim- the same object, the very same object you see in a very different perspective. You might even put them in a very same spot you're standing and they will still see slightly different the object. Maybe they will point out on different parts of the object. Maybe they will describe it in a different words. Maybe that, that object will make them, uh, will provide them with different feelings. Use, for example, a spider or a snake. Some people will be just won't care. Some people love spiders. Some people are absolutely terrified of the spider. And who is right in this case, right? Who is right? The person himself is right because said so. Because see the way as it is. So what you can do is just to allow them to explore. Um, or if you want to be a great communicator, you can observe people's maps. Ask them. Try to see from their own perspective why they are pissed, why they are angry, why they are happy. I don't really like to ask why they are happy because that might put people in different different state, might take away the happiness, or maybe it's just my limiting belief because I don't want to take the happiness out of them and really because that's taking the happiness out of me. Because remember, when you point somebody out, and you got one finger pointing someone and then three finger pointing at you. Don't believe me? Don't have to. Just point somebody out and look at your hand. You will see what I'm talking about. So, the mind is tricky. The trickery of mind, as would say Leo from org. cause you to get stuck, to get stressed, to get depressed, to waste a bunch of time on looking outside and just get going stressed about finding answers outside instead of spending some time within. Well uh, well all the answer where all the answers are. So My point for today is just be aware of those tricks your mind is playing on you. Learn to be skeptic about what you think is true. It's it's, It's one thing to kind of question other people's points of view, but be skeptic about what you think is true as well. Because... You are deluded. If you think that what you see is reality, you are deluded. Because reality, it just is. And whatever you add to it, your descriptions and whatever mind try to add to it, it's just a description of the reality. And you can use multiple descriptions. Different languages, different cultures, different attitudes. And so on. 
So just be mindful of that. They wanted to record a quick update, but it leads me towards 25 minutes, which is like, wow, I wouldn't expect that. And uh, that's something which is quite interesting. Because my mind was fighting and looking for excuses today not to do that. So I could break the chain. Uh, what reality? I said, okay, Pavel. What? Just record it right now. Okay, then you can go sleep or take some time. It's the day off. You can enjoy the rest of the day. Just ha have some time for yourself. Maybe I'll do some exercises right now from the books I've been missing. Because I noticed NLP in practice book on my bookshelf. And I've been going through literally those books and didn't do exercises. Or just like did them for the sake of, okay, let's mark off, check off them and, and move forward without really doing them. And then and right just recently I realized how much I wasted uh, of my energy just for going from book to book without doing exercises, without putting into action. Because knowledge without action is just, as I said, mental masturbation. Make you happy for a while and then leave you with girl that you didn't use them for the, per, for the best, for, for, for the best use. <laughs> okay? So that was Pavel. My voice is kind of uh, going a little bit off. Because I had some call with one of my accountability partners and good friend before. But that's for another conversation. Another update. Alright? Be mindful. Enjoy your day. And just one more thing, because before before we are before I'm signing off, is whenever you plan something to do or something pop up in your mind that you need to do that, but it's it's related to your business, and then you start doubting yourself. Ask what could happen. Ask yourself what could happen if I do would do that. Or if you are planning to do something from tomorrow, okay, why from tomorrow? Why not from today? Those questions will, would overload your conscious, you, your brain. And you will see different options. What will put a different light over what you've been doing. Okay? Thank you. And I'm signing off. That was Pavel Biao. Thank you for listening to me. Enjoy the rest of your day. Feel free to comment and message me directly. So I'll be happy to hear what you are about, what you what you take away, what you took away from this, what you are going through, and uh, oh, start from within. All the best. That was Pavel Biao.